This talklet is intended to help you understand how the direction of acceleration is related to the change in velocity of an object. Here we have a skier skiing down a slope. Obviously his speed will be increasing as he travels down the slope. Let his velocity at some instant be represented by the vector v. As he's travelling down the straight stretch of the slope, he is moving in a constant direction. Therefore, his acceleration vector is in the same direction as the velocity vector. Moving on down the slope, he has now reached the curved part of the slope, and so his acceleration has a component perpendicular to his path. But his speed is still increasing, and so there is a component of his acceleration parallel to his path. So now the acceleration vector points forwards and upwards now. Now the skier has reached the lowest point of his descent and his maximum velocity. So the acceleration vector has no parallel component, only a perpendicular component. So the acceleration vector points directly upwards towards the centre of curvature of his path. Now the skier has started to come out of the dip his speed is decreasing, so there must be a component of acceleration parallel to his path again, but this time it's in the opposite direction to his velocity. He's still on a curved path, so there is also a perpendicular component. The resultant acceleration vector therefore points backwards, as is now being shown.